What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Apparently, Carmelo Anthony and Lala are officially done because, of course, she files for divorce. Now, there have been a lot of stuff going on with this marriage. I believe this marriage has been over for at least the last two years or so, while Carmelo has been trying to get back on track with his NBA career. I think that's one of the only things that kept it together. I don't know what it is. I feel like when Lala Anthony started to be on power, and I think that's when things started to go downhill because when she did that scene, I think that that did cause a bit of a riff. And also, Carmelo was out doing him. So I could see why she'd want to leave, but you got to ask yourself what made her wait so long. And they've pretty much been living apart I would say the last couple of years, you know, we all seen that video clip of her on that date with Drake looking, uh, you know, looking very uh, out of place as if she didn't think no one would notice. But apparently, according to TMZ and also page six, they are officially done. And Lala Anthony has filed the divorce. Now, according to TMZ, Lala Anthony and Carmelo marriage has been through separation and reconciliation and years of speculation but now they've amicably decided to officially call it quits it's usually let me tell you something when something is amicable it's usually because that woman has pretty much moved completely on and she does not see any way back because maybe she, i honestly though i i know that people are going to say well well jane how do you know that i believe that she was waiting to see how his nba career would pan out would he be able to come back and be himself i think that's what she was waiting on maybe he could continue to be in that spotlight she can have that celebrity relationship all these women want but i don't know what it is once these guys are not considered the lebron james or the steph curs or Kev kevin durant's now you see these relationships dissolve the same thing with football players once those guys are not the same anymore things end and i do believe she was a big part in carmelo anthony wanting to leave denver because he was comfortable in denver i believe you know he was the guy he was worshipped in denver but he wanted to go to new york i mean i think a part of him did want to go to new york but carmelo's not to me i think he'd play anywhere i think he play. i don't think the city matters to be honest with you I think that was a Lala Anthony situation. That was Lala. That was all her. Lala filed divorce docs Thursday in New York, 11 years after tying the knot with the NBA star and cited irreconcilable differences. Sources close to the couple tell TMZ they've been separated for a while but remain friends. And as always, after 16 years together and everything about divorce is amicable. Because they've been separated for over the last couple of years. They've been separated. We're told that both wanted to take time to ensure a private and smooth transition in their relationship for their 14 year old son, Kyan, uh, who's always their top priority, of course. They remain fully aligned as parents, a parenting partners. Uh, as, report, as we reported, Melo and Lala split in 2017 after seven years of marriage amid rumors that he cheated on her. But by late 2018, it seemed they were working things out. Mid-2019, Lala reportedly called their marriage strained amid more cheating speculation and things remained on shaky ground even though the family quarantined together in 2020. Uh, I think it also had to do with the fact that this guy was on a boat with a chick. <laughs> this dude got, got caught on a boat and I, I did a video on it. You know, you can see everything through his shades. You know, it, it's like we know y'all was separated. You know what I'm saying? But y'all was working on it. But again, that relationship has been it has been strained, yeah, for a long time because of the fact that Lala wants to be an actress. She wants to be a big time celebrity. She she's very Hollywood. That's not Melo. Melo's about basketball. He's not about all that Hollywood, you know fame seeking that's not him He's, he has a very low-key personality but she does not okay look at all the people she's around she loves the spotlight she loves being a celebrity 
doesn't mean she's a bad person but she's wanted out of that marriage just as much as he did when she found figured out that she was able to get what she wanted and not be tied to carmelo and i'm honestly and i i've been saying this they have been separated for the last couple of years they have and it doesn't help that this guy has a side chick allegedly that he had a side baby allegedly while he was with lala i mean that that can strain any type of relationship now this is page six it says it's over for lala and carmelo anthony the former mtv vj I man that, that was a while ago reportedly filed for divorce from the nba superstar on thursday after 11 years of marriage and one son together according to tmz lala was 41 filed the paperwork in new york and cited irreconcilable differences the insider told the outlet that the former couple have been separated for a while but remain friends as always after 16 years together and everything about the divorce is amicable the source added that carmelo was 37 lala whose main priority the main priority is their 14 year old son and they plan to move forward with co-parenting relationship uh let's see although sources told tmz that the pair have been separated for some time lala told us last april that she and carmelo and their son were quarantining together in los angeles amid the pandemic i left new york because it was getting a little too hectic quarantining in my small apartment with my nieces cousins and the rest of my family so we came out and rented a house in la of all the, so you couldn't have found the house in cleveland <laughs> house you can find a house in uh where uh <laughs> what's the place virginia Melo's from Maryland. Wow, you couldn't find a place there, you know? Uh, let's see. Lala then shared in August that Kion is at the center of everything. He is watching us. So if we're out here being reckless or not leading with love, then what kind of example are we setting for him about how we should treat women or how people should treat each other? You know that's very interesting she brought that up because there were rumors that she slept with a rapper that she got caught dealing with this and this was in what 2010 2011 and it was rumored that she may have hooked up with i believe mano okay and it was like 2011 2012 ish i think and her and mellow brushed that off but i i just I don't know, man. I, I there could have been some truth to that. I'm not saying it is, but it could have been some truth to it. However, earlier that year, Lala sparked questions that she and Carmelo may no longer be together when she spot when she was spotted with Aquaman star. That's a mutual friend, and Melo and Lala are doing just fine. A source told Page Six in January of 2020, they're back together. In 2019, Carmelo was accused of cheating when he was seen hanging out on a yacht with another woman on Lala's birthday because they weren't together. They were separated. But see, Lala cares about her image. And just like Jennifer Lopez, they care about how they're perceived, especially when it comes to relationships. And they want to end the relationships on their terms. They're ending the relationship on Lala's terms, not Carmelo's. Because again, Carmelo, this it's not him. He's not, he's not a public relations guy. He's not about image. He's all about just playing basketball. The ex Nick star claimed at the time that the other woman was actually on the yacht with her husband and that they were all on a business retreat, not a sorted seaborne liaison. That could have been what it is, but this relationship is all but over. And I think this is for the best because they've been separated for quite some time she wants to go in a different direction i think Melo's comfortable going in a different direction their son is becoming a teenager or he is a teenager now so she can go and do what she wants to do he can go do what he wants to do it seems honestly whenever two people have a marriage where it just looks like they're just not around each other they're not a part of anything with each other that relationship has done that there is no feelings there there's no love there they're ready for it to be done i think both in in a way was ready to, for it to be done but i do think that lala wanted to end the relationship on her terms she wanted to end the relationship on her terms and she got a chance to do that 
and I don't know where things go from here. Again, she wants to be a star. She wants to be a celebrity. Wouldn't surprise me at all if she's on reality TV again. I think once she got on power, that's the beginning of the end right there. Because it gave her an out of that relationship, which she probably wanted. So.